Hello there, Ray here, and pre-release 10 is out, as well as pre-release 9. I'm going to go over the changes today. Now we're getting quite close to the release date, which is actually uh, Wednesday, which is tomorrow, and they're still trying to remove a bunch of different bugs that are in the game, such as some things that can cause it to crash. But if you guys still know of some bugs that you think should be fixed before the full release, go ahead and tell me down in the comments. They fix a pretty bad bug, which is if you would go to the end dimension or go to a super flat world, it would automatically crash your world. They added a highly requested feature, something I mentioned before, where you can optimize your world for the next version. So here's my old 1.12 testing world. This is just a backup. If I highlight it and go to edit, you got a bunch of changes I can make to it. Now here, there's one called optimize world. And by clicking this, it will pretty much say, this will allow you to attempt to optimize your world, show all your data is stored, most recent format. Yeah, yeah, it goes on. And this is just pretty much allows you to upgrade to 1.13 and it will convert all the blocks over so you won't have to go through individual chunks and load them to have the game swap the blocks out. So I go, yep, you can actually choose to back up your world if you want to. You know what I'm doing, hit this button, and then you can see it's gonna optimize my world for 1.13. You can see how long it's going to take. Wow, that's gonna take a while. So the world finished converting all the chunks. Now one thing to keep in mind that once you have done this, you can no longer go back into older versions. So you'll have to stay in the most current version that you did this to. And it don't look like I moved it to the top of the list or anything. It's still right here. Let's see if I can just load this up and see what happens. I know what I'm doing. And it should allow you to have a world that's um, a lot less leggier because it's not having to convert all the different type of block types over. And uh, it should optimize it too so that it's much better to play in. Um, let's see. I don't know. I'd say it's okay. Now for it to optimize this world, this world is kind of large size. This is my 1.12 testing world. One of them, I have a couple of them. But it took about half hour for it to convert all these chunks. So keep in mind it will take quite a while if you click that button. Um, also, you know that there has been some optimizations to improving performance. You can see I'm flying around and it's actually really good. So in pre-release 9 as well as in pre-release 10, they have improved uh, performance. And I can say, yeah, I can definitely tell that there is performance enhancements going on, especially just going through a typical world where you would fly around compared to older versions. Um, I still can't say if it's good as 1.12, but it is a lot better than the previous pre-releases. They fixed a really nasty bug that I discovered during our stream on the weekend, where if you put a mob inside of water, it would get pushed along the water. And when you get to the really thin water, it would slow down significantly or even stop. And this would pretty much break a lot of things where you move entities around such as mobs, as well as items. So I'm really glad that they fixed it. So I also noticed that they changed the giant trees in uh, pre-release 9 when we were doing our stream last night, checking out the different stuff. And you can see that they have like a main trunk with actual branches going off in different directions. And it looks pretty cool from like this angle, kind of seeing the branches and stuff like that. But from above, sometimes can look a little bit odd. Like it looks like they just took a bunch of the little trees, just smushed them all in together at the very top. So um, could use some more tweaking with that so they don't look so bizarre from above. But I do think it's kind of cool how they make these new giant trees. They actually feel more like a tree with branches coming about. It fixes it so you can now acquire coral fans in survival. So if I put down some here, you can see that I can silk touch these and get them. If I just place it down and punch them, they can remove them, but you won't get anything back. Now you can also get back the dead bushes, but if you use like a silk touch axe, you won't get anything. But if you use like a silk touch pick, then you will actually get the items back. So that might be a bug. Now you also need to use a silk touch tool to get the coral plant. So if I break my hand, you don't get nothing. If I use my silk touch pick, you'll see I get the items. And same goes for like the color blocks. If I use silk touch and I get the colored coral. And if I use like my fortune pick, then you see I just get a dead coral. There was two variations of the dead coral fans that were using the exact same texture, but now you can see they're all unique. There was a bug where liquids could change the way that they're facing. So this flowing water is facing this direction, but if it came intersecting with something like lava that's going this direction, it actually could turn this and make it look like it's flowing the same way as the lava. They fixed a pretty noticeable bug, which is when you would fly around, sometimes you would see different quadrants of an individual chunk not being uh, populated correctly, so it'd be missing the decorations. And it'd be really noticeable in cold biomes because there'd be like a quarter of this chunk here where all the snow layers would be missing. We were just talking about this in our stream last night, so it's really nice to see it's fixed. Now I do notice something kind of similar, which is this. You can see this ice was formed and this was not, and you can see it like here as well along the chunk border. Um, it seems to do with something with these ponds getting generated. This one's completely not having ice on top of it. And here's another one that you can see is clearly cut off by it. That might be something else going on. 
They changed the way ocean monuments generate with icebergs. So now icebergs no longer get cut off by the ocean monument generation. Instead, they kind of both mold together. As you can see, the uh, iceberg here is inside of it, and they're not destroying each other. So with pre-release 9, they said that they have fixed it so that when you switch out your controls with different things, such I changed mine to X for dropping as well as Z for loading up my toolbars. And when you downgrade to like 1.12, it would convert them all back to the default, which is pretty annoying. They said they have fixed this. Hopefully that is true. Sometimes the water will act weird, and I don't know if this is intended. If you place the water like this, there's actually no place for it to flow over the edge. But as you can see, it does some weird stuff like I don't fill in these corners here. And when it goes by this tree, all of a sudden it stops and it flows out more this direction. It's not consistently around this edge as well. So I'm not sure if that's intended, but it is really strange. I found a bug with igloo generation. Here's one of those igloos, and this one has one of those uh, secret trapdoors. But if you see underneath the trapdoor, it's a cave, and there is actually no underground um, secret compartment down here, or basement, whatever you want to call it. So that seems to be a problem. Now, they did say they're going to go ahead and do the full release on Wednesday, which is tomorrow, as long as there's no really major bugs that are going to stop them from doing that. And for the most part, they have been removing the bugs that have been really causing some problems with the players. But I hope to go ahead and collect all the different bugs that you guys have mentioned and make a video about it, kind of explaining why I think these bugs should be fixed. I'm quite happy with the progress they have been making throughout the pre-releases and allowing us to get the different features that we've been asking for. I'd like to thank you for watching, and if you found this interesting, show me the like and share this with others. If you'd like to see more of 1.13 content, go ahead and subscribe and hit that bell button. And if you have any questions, be sure to ask them in the comments. Bye-bye!